Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Lego Lee 329 again here, and today we have a brand new Lego Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles set review on the Turtle Sub Undersea Chase. This set retails for about $60 here in the United States of America. It contains 684 pieces, ages 7 through 14, number 79121. Here's a front look at your box. There is the back of your box. Despite having almost 700 pieces, this set only includes one instruction manual, but it's a really big one with 73 pages of building. First up for our minifigures here is Donatello, and he's an exclusive figure to this set. Not the character, but the variant, of course, in his scuba suit right there. It looks extremely cool, some great printing. There he is from the back with his turtle shell, and despite it being covered up, Donatello does feature some very cool back printing. The one other turtle included in this set is the leader of the Ninja Turtles himself, and that is Leonardo. He has his two silver katanas right there, which is very cool, and his printing like Don Tells is exclusive with all of his underwater breathing gear, which is really, really cool looking, a great looking minifig from the front right there. There is his turtle shell from the back, and he features some very nice back printing. The next minifigure here is one that you get two of in this set, and that is the Krang and their exclusive underwater variants. These figures look awesome, probably my favorite Krang figures LEGO has made to date. The printing here is all fantastic, he's holding a harpoon gun right there, which is pretty cool. You can see from the back they have a dorsal fin, kind of like a shark, which is, you know, kind of a little interesting detail for underwater Krang. And underneath that is some exclusive back printing. Last, but certainly not least, is one of my favorite minifigures of 2014 so far, and that is Leatherhead. This fig is awesome. Awesome. He's so similar to Dog Pound from last year, the same way he's built, using normal minifig legs with a cool exclusive body mold right there, which is very cool. I love the look at this character, though. It just looks so cool. Really cool character in the TV show. Kind of wish he got more screen time, honestly, because he's just that freaking awesome in the show. A great looking fig from the front right here. Here is a view of Leatherhead from the side. You get a better look at his eyes on the side of his head right there. His arms are really cool molds, and his tail kind of runs back there pretty nicely, which is really cool. And here he is from the back. Here is the small throw-in vehicle with this set. It is the Krang's undersea ship. Kind of reminds me of the Gunkin sub in some ways, which is, you know, kind of cool. Interesting color scheme going on here with the pink and the purple and the grays. It looks pretty cool, but not a whole lot going on here. The Krang does sit right there, which is pretty cool. And you do have this little piece right here, which actually can be removed. It does have a glow-in-the-dark stud in the middle right there, which is pretty cool. And on the bottom of this vehicle, you do have two flick-fire missiles. Here is the turtle sub itself, and I gotta say, this thing looks absolutely tremendous. Now, of course, this vehicle here is supposed to mimic that of a turtle shape. So the cockpit area at the front right here is basically the head of the turtle, and, you know, kind of the storage area towards the back is where the legs of the turtle and the shell of the turtle are. And this actual head right here looks very cool. I love the look of the windows right here. Wish these pieces were printed rather than a sticker, but that's not a huge problem. You kind of see some of the details like it went with right here. I really do like that. Up top, there is an opening hatch that's activated via one of those trapdoor pieces, which is very cool. It is a little bit hard to see, but Donatello can fit down inside there, which is pretty cool. And he has some controls, including a stickered sonar control panel right there, which is very nice. The whole back section, like I said, is supposed to represent the turtle shell of this vehicle, and LEGO did a great job making the look of the shell right here, and I love the fact they use so many of the olive green pieces. Those aren't exactly the most common color among LEGO sets, at least right now, and it's great to get tons of them in this set. On the side here, there is a window, which is a very cool looking sticker. And up top here, there's a nice little area that looks pretty cool. You have something that kind of doubles as a periscope and a launcher for the big missile up here. Basically, just push on this, obviously, and it will launch that giant, powerful, spring-loaded mi missile that we have seen before in LEGO sets. A really cool play feature. You can see the back here, there's a nice little sticker and some really great designs. And actually, this piece right here can fold down, which is not really accurate to the TV show, but it's a nice little added touch on LEGO's part. And the whole top of this shell piece right here can be removed to reveal the interior. Again, this is a little bit hard to see, but you can kind of see the interior right here. Some nice sticker control panels. I really like this design, which is supposed to represent kind of the bike system they use to make this vehicle run. In the TV show, they have to pedal the vehicle first to get the power going, which is actually kind of a little funny thing. And there are three seats in here, which is very cool for all three of your turtles. Of course, you only get Leonardo in this set, but it does have the option to put the other ones in there, which is very nice. And back here, there's a small little storage area for this nice little added vehicle to this set. It's not a big thing or anything, but it's a cool little added vehicle, kind of little scuba diver thing right here that does spin. Very few pieces used for this right here, but it's actually pretty cool. 
Now, all the play features we've looked at have been great and all, but nothing can quite compete with the main play feature for this set, and that is the effect that this vehicle can have, like it's swimming. Basically, when you push this vehicle along the ground, there are wheels on the underneath side of this vehicle, you can kind of see them peeking out right there, that cause this fin to move like that. It's an awesome play feature. I absolutely love it. The design is really creative. I haven't seen anything like it before and like a really awesome play feature on the ghost part. The designer engineered that extremely well. I love that play feature. It's just so fun. It looks so cool. It rolls really nicely. I love that play feature. And the fin back here, kind of wish this one moved too, but this one can fold up and down. It has some nice details right there. So a great play feature for this set. Here's a quick size comparison between this vehicle and the Shell Razor, which was the same price point, similar piece count set from last year for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I actually think this vehicle is a lot cooler looking than the Shell Razor. They're about the same size. The Shell Razor is a little bit, you know, kind of a little bit more well proportioned, but this vehicle is a little bit thicker back here and it's slightly longer. It's actually a little bit bigger than the Shell Razor, which is pretty cool. All right, guys, final verdict here on the Turtle Sub Undersea Chase. I'm not that surprised. I'm telling you this is a very cool set but I am shocked to tell you this is actually might be my favorite set of 2014 so far. It's a toss-up between this and a couple other great sets, but honestly, this one might edge those all out. I love this set. I love everything about this set. It's awesome. The minifigs are all exclusive. They're all great. Their details and printing are all fantastic. The little side vehicle, yeah, whatever. It's a, it's a side vehicle. No one really cares about that side vehicle, but the main attraction here is a really fun build with some fantastic playability features, lots of interior room to access. So much fun. I wish I had this set when I was a little kid because I'd have a blast playing with it. It's a great value. I mean, everything about this set is awesome. There are very few problems here. I wish there was a couple places where there are stickers where they weren't stickers, but honestly, and besides that, it's a great set and I absolutely love it. It's going to get a 9.6 out of 10 for me, guys. An extremely high rating. I don't normally give LEGO sets that high rating, especially Ninja Turtle sets. I believe that's my highest rating for any Ninja Turtle set to date. A really cool set. I absolutely love it. So I would highly recommend you go and pick this one up. So please rate, comment, subscribe. Please go check out my other YouTube channels. All these links will be down in the description below. Please go subscribe to my, or check out my eBay page. And please go check out the LEGO Awards 2014. And please go like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and follow me on Instagram. Again, I said all these things will be down in the description below. I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.